Aloha everyone. My name is Raymond Pintor and I am a bachelor's in social work graduate and a master's in social work candidate here with Hawaii Pacific University. I would like to thank you all for listening to my capstone presentation, Law Enforcement and Social Workers in Crisis Intervention. Upon doing this study, tensions have been building between police officers and families of the mentally ill and substance abusers. This is usually because of the lack of training and experience of law enforcement personnel and the unpredictability of responding to crisis calls. Some officers are not adequately trained to reduce agitation or manage mental health and substance abuse crises. These officers often create a negative outlook on members of the community. Because of that negative outlook, the communities would rather not count on law enforcement to help manage these situations. Since there are officers that are not trained in recognizing or dealing with the mentally ill or substance abusers, these officers have a high likelihood of sending the, the individuals to jail instead of getting them appropriate help. When, officer, when officers become trained in crisis intervention, this can create a more positive outlook on law enforcement and have community members count on law enforcement to help out on these situations. For my capstone project, I started off with a literature review on police officers that were trained in crisis intervention for mental health and substance abusers. That literature review then continued on with social workers assisting in crisis intervention. I then developed an exploratory survey with closed and open-ended questions that had three objectives. The first objective was, to self, for, was for officers to self-evaluate their experiences in crisis intervention. The second objective was for officers to assess social workers assisting on crisis calls. The third objective was to discover if any other departments were following the same training that officers were using for their crisis intervention program. My motivation for this project was to bring to attention that social workers are operating side by side with police officers to help with people that are going through crises with mental health and substance abuse. Cities like Portland, Seattle, Detroit, Hartford, and Phoenix have been recently using, using those social workers, but not all cities in the United States are. The officers working with these social workers are trained in crisis intervention. The training program that they use is a 40 hour program that familiar familiarizes them with aspects of mental health and substance abuse. Completing this capstone project was not possible. There were significant roadblocks that prevented me from completing this project. I first got in touch with five police departments that were cited in my literature review that had social workers and police officers trained in crisis intervention. I managed to get a hold of one of the officers, but that officer was not able to complete the survey. I then reached out to five other departments and none of them responded. All 10 police departments were contacted at least four times within a window of two months. It was a very good possibility that many of these police departments did not have adequate staffing. The one officer that I actually contacted stated that they were not able to complete the survey because they were working overtime hours on a weekly basis. Because I was not able to get any participants for this project, I still wanted to have the survey for police departments to evaluate their social workers and police officers who are trained in crisis intervention so that they could use it as an evaluation tool. This slide um, actually is like the first half of the survey. 
the first three questions are just some basic demographic questions um, that's directed towards the officer. It then goes over um, to ask about experiences during and after crisis intervention training. On this slide is the second half of the survey. Note that on questions 10, 11, and 12, evaluate the experiences of the officer operating with the social worker. The last question on the questionnaire is to find out if the officer knew of any other departments that may already be utilizing social workers or have officers that are trained in crisis intervention. After the literature review and developing the survey, it seems that social workers may have critical knowledge, skills, and abilities that police officers may benefit from. Officers that go through crisis intervention training usually go through a 40-hour training that only gives them background knowledge on how to deal with mental health and substance abuse crises. Just having background knowledge is not enough though. But if more officers get trained in crisis intervention and social workers start working side by side with law enforcement, this could actually help create a positive outlook and foster better outcomes in the community. More people with mental health or substance abuse crises would be referred to inpatient and outpatient mental health facilities or given resources to help deal with the crises. The communities could also expect to have less people placed into prisons and jails as repeat offenders because they'd be referred to mental health facilities instead. Thank you for listening in to my presentation. If you have any questions or comments, please email me or you can ask me during the Capstone Symposium.